Oh, what an absolutely beautiful day it is today. The stream is so soothing, calming. Airplanes are flying overhead. Heavy machinery in the garden making repairs to the flower beds. Children playing. Their parents instilling wisdom and attitudes. Reinforcing likes and dislikes. Establishing what is acceptable and what isn't. I wonder, I do wonder what the parents are telling their children about insects, about people. Children's minds are like sponges. They are quick to learn everything they are taught by adults they trust. I wonder what the parents are telling their children about insects, about people. I think insects are beautiful and they're even more beautiful when, as adults, we give them their space and respect them as life forms. Don't you think? Attitudes instill behavior and behavior can have devastating effects. Recently, an unarmed athlete was in an auto accident in Charlotte, North Carolina. He was all shook up, so he was running towards a police officer for help. The police officer shot him to death. Washington Post, September 15, 2013. Interestingly enough, it was September 15, 1963, that four little girls were murdered in Alabama in a church by a man who thought they were not worth much and the community for almost 25 years agreed with this man. They did nothing. I wonder, I do wonder, what are the parents teaching their children about insects? about people. I think insects are beautiful, industrious, colorful, useful, and productive. How can you look at a butterfly and not see its beauty? How can you not see a honeybee, or a bumblebee for that matter, and not appreciate its beauty and worth? Do we have the right to destroy an insect, a bee, or otherwise because we disdain its color? How do you personally feel about insects? Where did you get your attitude towards insects? Towards people? That man in Alabama in 1963 who murdered the four little girls did so because in his mind it was culturally acceptable. And the police officer who killed the unarmed man, a human being, was that act culturally acceptable in his mind? It is 2013, the 21st century. Why do you suppose we still harbor such attitudes? <laughs>